Hey guys, today we're going to take the transmission out of this Husqvarna YTH2348 lawnmower and we're going to check the fluid level and uh, so this is going to be how to take it out and check the oil level because you have to take it out to check that. First thing we're going to do is just jack up the back of the lawnmower here and then we're going to take the wheels off. Alright, there's a black cap on here. You just got to basically get underneath here and pull it off and then there's an e-clip here so you're going to stick a screwdriver in here and pry and pop this off and then you can slide this washer off and your tire will slide off these tires do have a keyway in them so make sure that you don't lose that when you pull the tire off all right I'm gonna come down under here next and there's a little cotter pin right here Take that off and remove this rod or unhook that rod. This is your forward and reverse linkage. All right, so what I did is I put a cinder block under the uh, deck here and let off here because we're going to end up putting the jack underneath the transmission here to let it down. Um, I chalked the front wheels but uh, do what you're comfortable with because this is a little bit tippy. So do what you're comfortable with. I'm not your dad. I'm not telling you what to do. All right. So next we are going to come in here, and this is the brake lever. Pinch this uh, pin right here and pull it out to unhook this spring. I just took that spring right out of there so that it's not getting caught on this when we take it out all right now we're going to take out these two bolts right here all right next we're going to take out these two bolts right here and you're going to have to put a wrench on these nuts uh, these are all both those two nuts and these ones are 13 millimeter do this on both sides all right, now that we've got both sides unhooked, we're gonna lower it down slowly. Uh, remember, the belt is still hooked up here, so what we're gonna try to do is lower this down and slide it this way, and then we can slide the belt out around the fan um, and then take it, uh, the transmission out. Before you start letting the transmission down, just take this right here and push it in and down like that so it doesn't get caught okay we've got this partially lowered down we're going to come down here and unhook this uh sensor right here there we go now we can finish taking it the rest of the way down and slide the belt off all right i'm going to show you how i got this belt off um it's just a little bit of a trick but uh, slide your jack forward as far as you can and then pull this belt and slide it between the fan blades here and then just rotate carefully try not to break the blades and just rotate that pulley and the pump and then your belt comes right off like that and then your transmission is loose and you can take it out with two hands all right, once you've got it out, hopefully yours is not as dirty as mine is, but uh, if it is, you need to clean it up. So we need to get this thing all clean so that we can actually access the oil port, which is actually under here, <laughs> um, without uh, getting dirt and stuff in the oil. All right, now we need to get this snap ring off. So you will need a set of snap ring pliers I'm going to have a link down in the description below to Amazon products where you can get a set of snap ring pliers if you want. If you do make a purchase on Amazon of any product through that link, uh, I will make a small commission and it is appreciated. Um, uh, right now I can hear somebody in the comments saying you're not supposed to wash these with water because water will get in some of the vent holes somewhere or something and get in the oil. That might be true. I'm changing the oil anyway, so 
do what you want to do. It's probably better if you spray it off with an air compressor, but this is what I did. So take off this snap ring here, and then we're going to wiggle the fan and pulley and pull the fan and pulley off. All right, now that we have the fan off and the pulley, we are going to lift this cap right here off. This is the fill plug. So I'm probably going to take a knife or something, try to work it under there. Seems pretty tight. So I'm just going to work it off and try not to break it or anything. All right, that was pretty tight in there. But uh, I set my knife in right here and tapped it with a hammer and got it to pop out. Um, I originally thought that maybe it came out the center ring, but that is not the case. So don't try cutting into there or trying to pop that out. This whole plug comes out. So just... Uh, tap in there with a knife or a really small screwdriver and then uh, just kind of tap it around this way until it pops out there so then there's this magnet in here you can see there's some shavings on there it's been doing its job so we will clean that off and then there's supposed to be fluid um, pretty much to the top of uh, there and I don't see any so that is I guess good and bad good because now I know why it wasn't working and bad because it is that way um, so the way you drain this is just tip it over and let it run out into a container and then uh, refill it with 5w50 uh, full synthetic all right so at this point, um, after you've drained the fluid, you are going to refill it up uh, about three quarters of an inch below the top of the hole here. And uh, these are two separate reservoirs here, so make sure you fill them both up. Um, they should both fill up if you get it up to three quarters of an inch there. But um, then what you're going to do is purge the air out of here. So we're purging the oil here. See, I've got it about three quarters to an inch from full here. Um, what I've got is a 12.14 millimeter socket that slides on the input shaft right there, nice and easily. And then you're gonna run the drill full speed um, forward and you will push this lever that way and then pull it back and do that as much as you can. As much as you can it's kind of hard to do by yourself so if you can have somebody run the drill and then you can use two hands to push and pull this back and forth to purge the air bubbles you'll probably see a few bubbles pop out of here but not a whole lot probably and then if you need to you can top off um, then put your magnet and plug back in and uh, put it back together the way you took it apart so if this video is helpful Smash that thumbs up button, comment below, it really helps out. Feel free to check out those Amazon links in the description below, and uh, have a good one.